All right, Roy, welcome to Sweden Rock. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Great. Ready to play. Always ready. Love this weather. We were just talking about the weather because we're Swedes. Uh, we haven't seen rain for many, many weeks, but yeah. Well, that kind of sucks, but um, it's nice and warm here today, I'll tell you that. We just came from Estonia and Finland where it was a little bit, a little bit chilly for, uh, for this time of the year, but, you know, it is what it is, and it was great over there, actually. We had really great shows in Finland and Estonia, and uh, definitely excited for today. Yeah. So last time Stone Sour played Sweden Rock was 2010? Yes, I think so, yeah. Yeah, 2010, yeah. Yeah. That was, I believe, the rock stage, and tonight you're playing the festival yeah, stage, yeah, yeah. a big yeah. stage. Uh, you know, that's well, eight years have gone by, but yeah. still, big stage now. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> so I remember back in 2010, I was working the merchandise, and I was walking around, I was filming, and at one point I, I filmed towards Stone Sour, and what I heard was, I saw was, I will never get that many people to do that fucking shit again as long as I live. And I've always wondered. What did he make the audience do? I don't remember, to be honest. Oh, you know what? I think I think we were playing um, a song called Idle Hands. I think he made people do a funny dance. I think Corey made everyone dance a certain weird way, if that's what I remember correctly, yeah. And it's true, he, he had everybody doing this funky-ass dance he was doing on stage. So yeah, it's pretty funny. That's good to find, like, I can sleep again. That's what it was. Uh, that's what it was. So, Heidegrad was released like almost a year ago yeah a year ago. Uh, what was the process of making that and how has the reception been um well basically we just got together as a band and hashed out ideas and got into a room and just played together and that's what you get make it it was pretty natural like pretty raw and natural how we how those songs came together you know it was really definitely a group effort has it always been like that, or has it progressed over time? Yes and no. I mean, it, it, it used to be like, you know, individually we would bring in, like, full ideas, and then, you know, then we would work them out and then and then track them separately. As I used to track drums to a click track and then, uh, you know, demo guitars, you know, to the songs that we were wor- writing and working on before. This time, we went and just recorded them all together in a room at the same time and did full takes from like top to bottom and then went with the best take you know the master take and then just built on top of that you know old school way of making a record you know I mean the only way I used to know to make a record and I, I love doing it that way I think this band will probably continue to do it in that fashion it just seems to work you know so what's the cre- like the creative cycle from okay uh, uh, an album is released and say it's like two or four years to the next one do you start writing right away, or is it first go out on tours? When 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 do you start writing? When do you go into that? Sp- I mean, usually, usually, I mean, from from what I've seen with this band, we'll we'll write the record, we'll tour it for a year and a half, two years, and then we'll obviously have two years off, and then in the interim of the two years, we'll work on new stuff and write stuff, you know, when we feel inspired to. So, yeah. So, what do you do like backstage a couple of hours before the show? What's your What's your ritual? Or? Not much. I mean, I just like hit the pad for a little bit and stretch out and, you know, drink a pre-workout drink and that's about it. You know, nothing crazy. Uh. Cool. So, okay, so you're playing Festival Stage tonight, Sweden Rock. What, what's happening next for the band? Uh, another show. <laughs> well, lots of shows. we got like about five more weeks here in Europe and uh, between Europe and England. So, got a lot of good festivals coming up like Nova Rock and uh, Hellfest got some shows in uh, in England playing the Roundhouse in London we got some we got a show in uh, in uh, Lisbon in Portugal we got some good stuff coming up yeah so when do you rest or do you uh, well when we're done with this tour we got a month off and then we go back out with Ozzy do seven weeks with Ozzy in the States just uh, Stone Sour and Ozzy and then uh, we end in Russia mid-November that's it Well, thanks so much for sitting down with us and have a great show tonight. Thanks. Thanks for having me.